Hello, this is Joe at Cable Guys, and I'm excited to introduce you to ShaperBox 3, the ultimate plugin for modern mixes and infinite inspiration. In this video, I'll walk you through ShaperBox 3's new features, including audio triggering for exciting new rhythmic possibilities, a brand new shaper effect for rhythmic flanging and phasing, a new browser for finding your inspiration fast, our easiest ever wave editing, and loads more. For those that don't know, ShaperBox is a single plugin that contains nine multiband effects called shapers. Place them in any order to create an endless array of effects. Each shaper is controlled by an editable LFO. Using preset waves and drawing tools, you can combine straight lines and smooth curves for sweeps, steps, and rhythms across three bands. Sync the LFO to your song or trigger it with MIDI or audio transients, or use envelope followers that react to dynamics. Now let's check out the new stuff. First, there's a brand new browser. Start here and choose a preset from the new categories. Seek out the exact effect you need or click around for inspiration. There's everything from rhythmic patterns and flowing sweeps to time twists, vintage analog vibes, wacky sound design, and much more. If you like a preset, favorite it. Then show all favorites in a clip. And save your own custom presets into the My Presets area. Audio triggering in Kickstart 2 has been a huge hit, and now we've brought it to ShaperBox with even more power and creative potential. Let me show you what I mean with this synth loop. Switch a shaper to audio trigger mode and the LFO restarts every time a transient is detected. This works the same for all nine shapers. Create filtered plucks, reactive time effects, bit crush transients, distortion envelopes, and any other triggered effects you can imagine. And with an external sidechain input, you can use any other track in your project to trigger shaper box. Let's use the new volume shaper to duck this bass line with the kick. Click this quick preset to load a quarter note sidechain setup. Route the kick signal into the sidechain input. And activate external sidechaining. Now the kick is ducking the bass. Volume Shaper's new Show External Sidechain feature overlays the kick waveform on the oscilloscope. Use this as a guide to dial in triggered multiband ducking. If you like, you can use different curves for all three bands. And bring your music to life by triggering other Shaper effects for unique interactions. With all this triggering power, ShaperBox isn't just for electronic music. Let's use audio triggering to gate this acoustic drum loop. Default trigger settings are the same as Kickstart 2. It just works, but you can go even deeper. Click this button to open the audio trigger setup screen. Set the triggering threshold with a slider. Choose from three algorithms. Focus the triggering on specific frequencies. Shift the timing and even use the triggers to output MIDI notes. And get creative with settings for wild triggered effects. Also new for Shaper Box 3, we've added Liquid Shaper to the lineup. Switch between phaser modes and the brand new flanger. <laughs> to 
to design watery whoosh effects, robotic rhythms, and triggered comb sweeps. modulate center and feedback across all three frequency bands. Switch between positive and negative modes, plus up to 16 stages of phasing. And go wide with the stereo offset control. Next up, ShaperBox 3's wave editing is now easier than ever, but just as powerful. Now you can add angled breakpoints with one click. Then simply drag the line to bend it into a smooth flowing curve. Toggle lines and curves with a click. And delete with double click. Make a selection by clicking and dragging in an empty space all with no tool switching required. Combine all this with the pen tools to draw and paint your inspiration in even less time. Other new features include a new master mix that adjusts the mix of every shaper at once. Now you can get powerful effects blends that morph from dry to wet with no phasing artifacts. ShaperBox's multiband compressor is now a separate tool that you can insert anywhere in the chain. And the envelope follower now has an analog style adaptive release for kinetic reactive effects. ShaperBox 3 is out now. Find out more and try the demo at cableguys.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.